Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Allen Company. It's Wednesday, March 29th. I'm going to go over the markets with you. Not a whole lot to actually touch on right now. So really uh, quiet markets starting to get this little bit of a lull before Friday's big day. So uh, tomorrow has a bit of surprises in it as well. Quarterly, or I mean, quarterly stocks are Friday, but export sales are going to be released here tomorrow. And that's actually a really big deal. I've talked about it before. Uh, soybeans very close to their printed number here from USDA. So they really can't go over that. Um, and so you also have quarterly pigs uh, stocks tomorrow as well. And so that's a big one as well um, for those meat markets. So a lot of information coming over the next couple of days. But as far as those grain markets go, uh, you were able to find some late buying come into corn and wheat markets towards the close with corn closing up about a half a cent wheat market. Uh, actually, Minneapolis having some surprising strength being up about eight to nine cents where Chicago and Kansas City close to steady, though well it was well off its lows. So that buying came through, but you couldn't get it together here in beans anywhere from two to three cents lower uh, as you're just really struggling with the burdensome supplies, the estimates you're getting out of South America, and just not knowing where this acre number is going to come in on Friday. So uh, a lot of information, like I said, over the next couple of weeks should, or a couple of days should really shift around trade. Uh, you're at some support levels as well. You've got an aggressive sell-off and really it just matters whether managed money decides to stop liquidating. So they've been aggressive sellers of these markets and it's very evident here uh, as you can see on these price levels. Over the meat markets, a little bit of higher trade, live cattle, feeder cattle, lean hogs mixed. Um waiting on some cash trade and then like I said quarterly hog and pig report that's going to offer details here tomorrow. Then those outside markets, uh, Dow slightly higher, US dollar slightly higher, crude market actually up over a buck. That comes off yesterday's executive action from President Trump to roll back some regulations on EPA, thinking that maybe you could get a little bit more done as far as it goes for those oil markets. Um, other than that, I just have to close with a disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.